he could not allow himself to be the first American president who lost a war. And so, so he could know that this isn't going well. He could know that these generals who've told, given him a certain optimistic read uh, have given him optimistic reads before that aren't true. Uh, and he could have the political instincts to understand how this will play, how this war is playing negatively uh, in, in the country. But he was trapped. He was trapped in that spot that he didn't want in history as uh, the first president who would lose a war. So his continued commitment to it was always not so much a commitment to win, but a commitment to punish through, you know, through the art of war, to punish the North Vietnamese to the point where they would negotiate some kind of thing that Lyndon Johnson could say was not defeat for the United States. Um, and then he ended up being followed by Nixon, who was guided by the same principle. Couldn't, couldn't be the first president to lose a war.